because I want to show you the project that won the Congress, the National Congress of Investigation, here at the Computense. The project is related with the emotional intelligence in the training of Russian students. So first of all, I am going to ask you some questions as a little introduction that I want you to keep thinking about along the exposition. So, is the knowledge enough to face the most difficult situations related with the patients and their relatives? Is the experience the only way to reach this emotional domain? Is there any way in which the university could give to a professional what the people think that can be learned only with experience and the painful situations? What do you think? Now, if you have asked yourself sometime these questions before, I have the answer for that. And maybe you guessed it. The answer is the emotional intelligence. But what is the emotional intelligence? Emotional intelligence is defined as a person's capacity to manage one's and other's emotions with efficiency and generating satisfactory results. This was the first definition made by Salovey and Myers in 1990. It's very important to say that the inclusion of the emotional skills into the nursing education is really important face to a future, a professional future, in which we will have to establish a really good relationship with the patients, their relatives and the rest of the interdisciplinary team. In relation with the methodology, we have established a period of time from 2000 to, from 2000 to 2016. The most relevant studies, we have chosen uh, those that are in a period of time since 2008 to nowadays and the keys that we have used, the tools, are the databases like the PubMed, Medline, Embase, and Fistful, the Coltrane Library and Sinal. So here we have the most important uh, studies that we choose for the, for the investigation. In, the, in a purple color we have the studies in relation with the professionals and the other two are the studies which are in relation with the students. So, in a chronological order, we have first one, the Morrison study in 2008, which, uh, it, which uh, used a sample of 94 students to demonstrate that the emotional intelligence has a positive impact into the resolving conflicts. The second one is the Kotier, Kamikawa, Cooker and Schultz study in the 2009. Here we have a sample of 90 of sorry, we have a sample of 112 uh, professionals in which with this study uh, they can prove that the emotional intelligence is really important for those who want to keep a really good job retention and a better performance. So now we pass to the third study, which is the Chang Tree Di Chua and Lin, uh, made in 2011. Here they used a sample of 135 students and they verify that the emotional intelligence is really important face to the health of these students that they can solve their uh, stress problem diary. And finally, the study made by Fernandez, Almonson and Griffiths in 2012. Here they establish a relation between the emotional intelligence and the academic results. So, they finished to get an idea, which is that those with a better high score, with a high score of punctuation here in the emotional intelligence, they establish a really good marks and uh, be better with them and their academic results. So, here we are, the students of nursing. Do you think that has anyone, any time, Focus on us, 
focus on the collective of nursing students to help us to ameliorate this emotional competence. In this case, the answer is yes. Yes, and this is because we have two different models. The model of emotional competence in nursing, made by Aradilla Edouard Dumas in 2011, and the emotional competence of Biscara and Perret in 2007. In the discussion of the project, we have analyzed the similarities and difference between the two pedagogical models. In the first figure, we can see the model of emotional competence of Aradilla Edouard Dumas, which classifies the competence in three levels. The level of emotions, the emotions, a social competence and the self-care competence. Here we have that the most important is the last one, the self-care competence, because it helps to the student to avoid the burnout syndrome and face the effects of the stress. But here we need uh, two key elements, two key elements which are really important face to the students, which are the which are the decision making and the goal setting to help them to establish a good level of life, a good way for them. In the second figure, we have the model of emotional competence of Biscara and Perret, and here we have that it classifies the competence in five: a social competence, emotional autonomy emotional regulation, emotional conscience, and here the most important is to the last one. It's the competence for life and wellness, because it's the ability to adopt appropriate behaviors in relation with our situations, to really have an opportunity to face this gratefully. So, after revising the two biological models, we have asked some students what they really think that they need in their, in their education to ameliorate this emotional competence. So here we have the video. What do you consider necessary to improve in your psychological training to your nursing labor? ¿Qué me gustaría mejorar en mi formación? Pues sin duda conseguir un mayor grado de empatía hacia el paciente y hacia los familiares, ya que son con los que tenemos un trato bastante directo, y además trabajar más técnicas emocionales para poder afrontar nuestro día a día. No, sinceramente no. Ni yo ni mis compañeros de hospital tenemos las capacidades suficientes. Y sí es cierto que veo necesario mejorar nuestras habilidades a nivel interdisciplinar para hacernos el día más llevadero y mejorar nuestra relación con el resto de compañeros y llegar al paciente. Yo recuerdo un paciente ingresado en medicina interna que se encontraba en una situación ya muy deteriorada y a pesar de que sabíamos que iba a fallecer, esto nos creaba un sentimiento de tristeza y sobre todo de impotencia de cara a los familiares, ya que yo, por ejemplo, no sabía cómo abordarles emocionalmente tras su pérdida. So, after revising the two pedagogical models and considering the experience of this student, we have considered that using the model of emotional competence in nursing from Aladdin Aradilla and Juan Tomás, plus the emotional competence model of Ms. Kevin Perry, incorporate the three key elements that I said before, which are the personal care, the decision making and the goal setting, it will have, we will have a really good uh, model to help these students to develop their emotional competence. And we have considered too that in relation with the model, it's a new pedagogical model of emotional competence and that the model must be applied in the whole degree, not only confined it into, the, into a subject on the first year of the degree. So, for do that, for make the model transversal to the degree, we have some tools like the models of hospital training, which express which show the students uh, some possible uh, situations that they will have in their professional future. And we have to prepare some online tools for an annual evaluation 
and this is for the student to really for make easier to them to improve if they have really improved something in relation with their emotional competence. Finally, in relation with the university, we think that the faculty should be knowledgeable of this emotional competence because they must be a point of force to their students to help them to improve their emotional competence. So, for example, we have established two, some collaborative activities to make an environment of mutual support in which the students could give and receive some feedback between them because it's not only important to learn about emotional competence but the most important thing is to know how to live with them so here for finish we have some bibliographic reference if you want to improve if you want to know more uh, of this emotional domain we have for example the studies of the introduction of the models of the of the discussion and uh, well I want to finish with a sentence that I really like uh, maybe you know about it this, um, this sentence is the definition of nursing if you can cure, cure if you can't cure, look after if you can't look after, relief if you can't relief console. This is our history, this is our future, and with the emotional competence we can improve it. So thank you for watching us.